Welcome to Donna Creations and More. If you're one of my subscribers, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. And please consider subscribing. Now on to my tutorial. We're going to do a glam DIY. The recommendation for use a mirror. And of course, first thing comes to my mind is glam. So I have this shelf thing here that I just got a Dollar General for $2.50 because it's 50% off right now all their spring stuff so I'm just going to remove the very top of the um where they have the twine and all the beads because that's not going to go and then next we're going to unwrap our mirror I was saying that maybe the mirror could come out. But I didn't want to press my luck. I didn't see any way that it could. First, I want to apologize for the noise in the background. I need a bearing in my window AC and it's super noisy. So right now, I'm just going to tape off my mirror. You women know how it is. Hot flashes. I'm always hot. I have my house AC on. I have a window AC on. I sleep with a fan. My husband thinks I'm crazy. So I got my mirror cut. I'm going to take my Zacto knife around and get any tape that might be on the edges on the back. On the black, not the back. So I'm gonna get. I have this Rust-Oleum metallic spray paint in, what did you say, silver, like a mirror color. And I'm just gonna give that a coat of paint. And same with this. And we're gonna move everything out of the way. I'm hopefully. Hoping I can get the DIY number two. I did not know about this. Um. God. Collaboration. I don't know. My mind is not thinking straight anymore lately. Until yesterday. I saw a post on Instagram. And this will be the post. Talented Creators Collaboration. The host is Aria DIY with Aria and the other host is Loli with Loli's creation the guest host is creating it myself and the co-host is Grace Neighbors sharing the theme was our choice and must include a mirror so of course like I said you say mirror Donna's going glam so I have some scrap styrofoam. I save all my styrofoam. Save your styrofoam, girls. You always need it. Why waste your money? Why put it in the landfill? It's free. Just keep it. So here I'm taking two of the Dollar Tree napkin rings and some zip ties. And I'm going to zip tie it on the bottom here on this side and then I'm going to do the other side I don't know about you guys but I always that's when I go to do zip ties I always go to put them in backwards it drives me insane so I'm just going to lean over my trash can here and just cut my foam around so I don't make a huge mess all over my desk again. 
with all these little foam balls. And then I'm add my two zip ties on my top. Now mine is totally different than everyone's I've seen. I don't copy from anyone. The ones I have seen, people take two of these and put styrofoam on the top and bottom and put flowers on it and voila they're done. Well, you all know me, I'm extra. When we go glam, we're going glam. And I think it turned out absolutely stunning. So I did spray paint the um, uh, zip ties on top because it was driving me nuts. So here I have my crystal teardrops. I get them from Amazon, very cheap. They do sell them at Hobby Lobby. I actually got some really, really cheap. I don't even know what I did with them right this second. I think they're still like in a bag somewhere. They were like 250. But anyhow, I get these off Amazon really cheap. It's like 30 of them. I can put it the link in my description box. And I think it's like $10 or under. And they come like this already with the crystals, the circles, and the teardrops. So I'm just figuring out my design. How long I want them. So, of course, I'm going to leave one. I switched the one teardrop to a bigger one. So we're going to have the ones that come from Amazon. And then I have bigger ones that I got from Hobby Lobby. No, I got them from Amazon, too. Sorry. Those are ones are glass. And I'm making them longer. As you see, I'm doing here. I zoomed in for you guys. These little jump rings drive me nuts. Funny how, what is that? One, two, three, four, jump ring. So I'm just adding an extra jump ring and a rectangle. And you can get them on Amazon too. A big old garland, really cheap. And I can put that in my description box. And I am an Amazon associate, so I will earn, earn a very small percentage if you click on the link and buy them. But you all know me, I do end up changing my mind in this video and making a couple of them a little longer. I think it was the two side ones. So, well, I was going to zoom out, but you guys can see really good right here. And this is where I'm grabbing extra one. Because I was like, let me zoom out some. I added an extra jump ring because I wanted to hook it around that metal bar going across. And that made it a little bit longer. And this is where I sided. I wanted those two only a little longer. So I did end up adding an extra rectangle and jump ring. You can design it any way you like. This is just the way I did it. I like the way the effect looks. If you watch any of my glam videos when I do crystals, I always have them different levels where they look really pretty. 
which if you're new here, please check out all my glam videos if that's what you're into. I have some really, really pretty things I have come up with. I've always liked this kind of stuff. I grew up on home interior with my mom. Then, of course, got a nice old crystal chandelier. And then I turned wall sconces into plugs that were crystal. And that started from there, spiraling. You know, the little glass globes and the crystals. So, it started when I was young. So I'm just going to continue adding on, just for the moment, these um, crystals around the rings. And then we'll fix them. So I want the one in the very center. And then the two side ones in the center of the one to the left and right. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine crystals. I think. No, we don't. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight crystals. I don't know what the heck I'm thinking. How can you end up with nine crystals? Eight crystals, you guys. Oh, so now I'm gonna grab some flowers that I have. I had the lamb's ear, of course, from Walmart. I love the lamb's ear, it's so pretty. I just like the tone of the green. Then I have a bunch of other type of flowers that I ordered from, like, Wish. Yeah, that's where I got them from, Wish. Really cheap. And I've been, like, decorating my table and all with these. So this is going to go in my dining room, so to match. I still want to do a glam table. So I can move that big, big, huge glam, elegant glam centerpiece next to my hut. And then bring my other glam table piece in. That's in my dining living room. But I haven't gotten to it. I'm super busy with summer. So I'm going to push all the pieces to the top. And put some hot glue onto them. And then I'm going to cut them off, not too long, because my styrofoam's little, and we're filling in a little area. So I have all my flowers here, and my lamb's ear, and I'm deciding exactly how I'm going to do my lamb's ear. So I'm going to cut the top little bunch off, and I have two of them. And I'm not going to waste one bit of this lamb's ear in this video, believe me. So I'm putting the lamb's ear in first. Now here I'm hot gluing the bottom. You'll see me fix that later on. It's wobbly and it's driving me insane. So I decided to take the lighter ones and go around the very bottom. And I'm doing it like diagonal, like in a cross shape.
And then we'll stick more of the lamb's ear in that I cut. I think these flowers were like a dollar eighty-eight or something like that. They were really cheap. I know you can get them off Temu too. I don't shop at Temu. We don't want to discuss it. I was scammed three times and that's all I'm going to say. It's not a website I like to deal with. I like to deal with Wish and AliExpress. I've never had a problem with any of them. And you can get these flowers from there. So I'm just going to take the darker pink and fill it in. It's turning out really pretty. I really loved how it's turned out. Now as you see that's not enough. So I'm, I'm digging in my box and I found another different bouquet that I bought. That's still pink. And I'll see how that would look. So we're going to do the same thing. I pulled all the little pieces up and I'm going to hot glue them. Because you know, on the stem of the flowers, they have them like staggered down. So I just slid them all up and just hot glued them in place. That way it made them fuller and shorter. And now I'm just going to finish filling in. And of course we have to decorate the very top. And then this one didn't look right. This one was too big and bushy. And I realized it had like three or four. I think it was like four greenery on it. So I'm cutting it into two. So I don't need that big old bush in there. Aren't these colors so pretty, you guys? And I told you I'm not wasting my lambs here. I'm take the last little bit of pieces. And I cut the extra off the tip. Top. Oh, I can't talk today. And I'm just going to find a space that I want to stick these in. Look how pretty that looks. Now we're going to take this mirror remove everything. I don't even know why I paint the side. Don't ask. I'm taking some rubbing alcohol here trying to clean this mirror. This mirror is terrible for a makeup mirror. That's what it is. A makeup mirror in the Dollar Tree. So I'm still trying to get this mirror cleaned off here as best as I can. It's just smearing and smearing. So, I'm going to take some hot glue and go around the very top edges. And stick our mirror on. And then I'm going around and still filling in some spots with some hot glue. There's going to be a gap. I'll let you guys know now. And then take some E6000. And I go around where there's not any hot glue. And glue them spots. So the hot glue is our quick hold, and the E6000 is going to be our permanent hold. Okay. 
And just see that thing would drive me nuts. It was unlevel like I told you. So I had these little stoppers, door stoppers, that I use for my coasters. And I'm going to glue four of them on the very bottom. And I'm also going to... The... Um... Ooh! My... Can't think. Paper towel holder. And I didn't do that. And I don't know why. I think I did later. But I did push it up and glue it really good. So here I have this rhinestone ribbon, yes, from Amazon. I can link that too. And I was looking to see how thick that was. And that's going to cover everything. So I'm going to add that on around my very edge. It actually covers the side of the mirror plus the gap that's below from the... There's a little gap when you put the um, mirror on top of the paper towel holder. So this will hide everything in the glue. So you're going to put something around. It don't have to be this. It can be the glitter tape from the Dollar Tree. Or the little papers they have, or ribbon, whatever you like. But you're going to have to cover it if you do it this way. So I added that on. Now I have this piece that I got from Amazon also. It looks like a piece of jewelry. It's a rhinestone pearly type ribbon, it's not a ribbon, uh, it's applique type ribbon you add to your clothes. So I'm going to add that around the very edge of the bottom. And I apologize, I am out of frame this moment. I don't know what I was doing. So I started at the back, and I'm just going to wrap it around, I glue it in place, I'm not too sure if I'm going to get to the second DIY, you guys. It's already 3.34 and it's due at 6. I'm still doing my voiceover and it's got to be uploaded and checked by YouTube and all that. And I really don't want to be late. Um, I might try. I'm not sure. Let's see how long this goes on. So then I decide to take a little piece. And right there, where them zip ties were, driving me insane. You could see them even though I painted them. So I'm putting a piece there, and that looks beautiful just like that. Look how pretty that is. I love all my glam stuff. I still haven't did my back splashing that I wanted to do. I guess that'll be a winter project. And that's going to be a mirror project, too. If I would knew about this DIY, good God, I, I could have did that. Here I have some fairy lights. Again, yep, Amazon, you guys. Best place you can get them. But I hate that they're always tangled and you got to figure out how to get them undone. Why can't they just wrap them up and wrap the tip around for a second? Like one loop. Voila. Done. No. They gotta be all tangled. So now I'm sitting here struggling with these damn lights.
I think I finally got them undone. So, I apologize, you can't see. I'm just wrapping around the flowers. And some pretty little lights in. I want to make sure I have enough because I want to actually bring the lights up. And put some underneath the very top. And that's where I'm going to keep my battery pack at. So I'm just trying to adjust these lights. And make sure I'm going to have enough to bring up to the top. And you should see that because I have to glue it. Yeah. Nope. I turned it upside down. Oh, sorry you guys. So what I'm doing is I'm going around the very outer edge and adding in the lights. And then I'm going to glue, glue the battery pack in the middle. And here, right there, is how I put the lights on and glued the battery pack. Alright, you guys, it's getting late. It's already 4 o'clock. I apologize. I'm not going to get to the second DIY, but that will be in another video. Again, I apologize. I need to get this video uploaded. If you have any of your wires hanging down on accident on the very bottom of the mirror, just add a little bit of hot glue as I'm doing here and push them up in place. And that's basically it. Clean your glue strings off. Clean your mirror up again. Uh, right here is where I'm adding a little bit of glue to the wire I wrapped around the paper towel holder going up. I only did like one or two loops. And here's the final reveal. Tell me what you guys think. I um, apologize, the lights look blue in the camera, but they're not. They're white. I don't know why and I don't know how to adjust it to where it doesn't look blue. I have tried and tried. I don't know. Anyhow, you guys, please remember to hit the like button. That really helps me out here on YouTube. It helps my channel, my videos get noticed. And subscribe. It's free. And share and comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next video. Bye for now. Love ya.